The CaterAndRacer.com Academy Championship is sponsored by Just Add Lightness. High performance LED lights for the Caterham 7. It was a great start from pole position for James Murphy. However, Mark Rodman, who would start alongside Murphy, made contact with Toby Baum into turn one. This speared Rodman out onto the grass and out of contention for race one. Rob Oldland would run second early doors with Baum just holding off the attentions of Michael Coomer into Park Corner. A poor game connection by Albert Veyer caused contact with Richard Hall into Mansfield. And it wasn't the end of the disruption caused by the high ping, with issues for the field in Barn Corner sending several drivers off into the scenery. Phil Clark's race was ended when he collided with an unsighted Richard Hoare whilst recovering to the field. There were some good battles throughout the race. Mark Rodman here putting huge pressure on Richard Hoare. This would ultimately resolve itself in Rodman's favour when Hoare ran wide coming out of hairpin. Murphy had a significant gap over the field with newcomer Toby Baum in second place and Michael Coomer trying hard to catch up in third. Rob Oldham was next up in fourth, just ahead of his real life academy race that was due to take place just a few days later. There was drama late in the race when Murphy locked a rear wheel coming through Hall Benz, sending him into the barriers and this dropped into second place with only a couple of laps remaining to try and take back the lead. Pressure started to tell for Baum, however, dropping a wheel onto the grass house of Barn Corner. And this gave James just enough momentum to slingshot back around the outside of turn one into the lead. Baum tried his best to put pressure back on James. But ultimately, Murphy just had too much pace and pulled away from Baum's challenges. So over the line it was Murphy securing the win, Toby Baum taking a solid second place, Michael Coomer would come home in third place ahead of Rob Oldland, Mark Rodman, Richard Hoare and Phil Cluck. In race two James Murphy again made a great start from pole. This time the field made it through turn one unscathed. With Rob Oldland securing himself second place in the early running from his fourth place grid spot. An incident up into Park Corner on lap one saw Rodman clash wheels with Clark, 
Clark got sent across the grass and was unable to stop the car, collecting an unfortunate Richard Hoare as his car careered across the track. Through the confusion, Baum was able to get back into second place ahead of Oldland, and Oldland would come under significant pressure from Kuma until he ran wide at Mansfield, allowing Mark Rodman an easy place. The lead drama would happen a lot earlier in race two, with a comfortable lead again squandered by Murphy locking up the rears into hairpin. By the time he had recovered his car to the track, he had fallen to third place behind Toby Baum and Mark Rodman. However, James's pace was sufficient to take an easy pass up on Rodman into park, and shortly afterwards he would also get past Baum into the lead. Late in the race, Baum came under increasing pressure from Rodman for second place. And Rodman was able to sweep around the outside into turn one to resolve that battle. So Murphy would take another grid B win, followed home by Rodman in second and third for Baum. Michael Coomer, Rob Oldland, Phil Clark and Richard Hoare rounded out the field.